Alright guys, what's up? It's Gnomes, and we're watching a game between Tiny Dragon and um, Nebion. Uh, they both have some very strong decks. Um, I think that um, they... Okay, so the thing that makes them very strong is that they both can have a lot of HP gain. Um, the uh, ST faction, in its of itself, gets a lot of HP through the faction bonus. They get plus 10 HP there. Um, so he gets plus 10 from that. Secondly, he gets um, the beast get the plus 10 HP from boost, and then thirdly, the beast get um, extra HP for from the uh, war banner. So if this ice fang has all the boosts of HP on it, it will have plus 20 or 21 HP or sorry 20 HP, and that will put um, the ice fang at 72 HP. That's a, a very high amount. Already 60 is a lot, but at 72, it's pretty insane. Now, on the other hand, um, the HP gain from Constructs is also very high, but um, quite a bit harder to attain. Now, the um, the IS, the um, Constructs, they get 10 HP from, right here, from the Great... No, that's not it. Where is it? Superior Tinkering. There you go. They get 10 extra HP from Superior Tinkering, um, plus they get 10 extra HP, or sorry, 5 extra extra HP from the war banner and then 5 extra HP from boost construct now I'm not sure if he has any boost construct champions in his deck though in his battle group um, but at the very least he gets plus the um, 15 from the war banner and the but uh, like I said it's quite a bit harder because uh, you have, for superior tankering this is a three turn cooldown so you don't really get it on every single champion nearly as quickly as the um, IS champions do because they can, um, you know, they just get right out of the bat, they get plus 15 if the war banner and boost is out, or, or sorry, if the uh, champion is out and boost. But um, the I IS champions do get the um, strong Iron Fist Stronghold bonus, so they don't take very much damage from um, any spells. Now, against ST, that's pretty good. Um, Ice Storm is usually played a lot, that's uh, 10 extra damage, or that's 10 damage, um, a 10 damage spell which you would make the 4 damage, right? Um, I think in late game, it's very close. Um, you do have these baby furballs that can come out very often. Uh, they're very cheap. They start out at a very low HP, but you leave them for how many rounds? Or is it furring? For 6 turns. So 3 rounds, and they become pretty big. Um, so... There's just a lot of you know gain, but I think in the complete late game. So once you know, if both chan if both turns, I mean, if this goes to let's say around 20 turns, we're at turn 10 now. If this goes to 20 turns without having anything been done, except for you know build up the army, then I think that um, is the uh, constructs do have an advantage. Uh, they can keep pooping out these mechanical crabs. Now, what you do have to think about though is uh, what is dangerous is Mechanical Crabs and all these low HP champions, here's 25 HP. Mechanical Crabs also only have uh, 20 HP with the War Banner out. Uh, you really need boost here, I feel like. Now, the um, Strig Warlock does have that um, swarm. So, if you don't kill the Strig Warlock you know, early enough, then um, he can start swarming all these low HP units, and then all those little um, summons that the Tinkerer can make will all be you know, used against him. Now is he gonna? All right, so yeah, there's the greatest superior, or superior tinkering on the lowest of megalith. You see, he's at uh, 65 HP as well. That's quite a bit, almost mashing the ice fang. Uh, well, Daki Sentry, that's a strange champ to have out. Not exactly meta. 64 HP though for um, detection as well as illuminate. Not horrible. Um, Beltag, Belt, eh, sorry, that. Well, Daki Sacrifice Tracker is also pretty good. I mean, um. I guess. <laughs> okay, so the the you can give your own champs illuminate and detection three. So I guess, yeah. Okay, this is good right here. Now that'll get a lot of HP. So once he gets pure tinkering, he'll be at seventy one as well. That's pretty high up there. Now here you can see a uh, dragon slayer, or I'm uh, sorry, um, tiny dragon. <laughs> Ooh, there's the swap. Okay. So that 
Glowstone Megalith, who has tough two, tough two and two armor, so it's gonna be pretty hard to kill. Um, all all things considered, can he do it? I don't know. I don't think he has the uh, damage here. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, okay, first of all, there might be some hidden champions. Also, if he uses um, Gale Force, that's an extra 30 damage. Yeah, I know he has a kill. He also has uh, Blood Rage. Or he's just gonna do that. Okay, so he's just gonna use Crystallize and kill it next turn. I feel like he could have killed it. Because he could have. Yeah, he could drive the um, Prowler one more time. And then he has still a double, and he could then, no, only one attack with his triple. And then he runs away with the Ice Fang. So, his uh, low tech Megalith is very far away, and the uh, Ice Fang, you know, was swapped and then never moved back. Um, so, this Megalith is most likely dead, unless he somehow casts Impervious or something. Um, but now it's, it's Tiny Dragon's turn to see what he's going to do. Either he can go in. Maybe with a battle drum, but then he has to make the turn quick because there's a lot of champions to move. So if he's going to use battle drum, he wants to get that this turn to happen. Um, and then maybe try to kill the Ice Fang or the uh, Doomfringer that you know 69 HP. All right, so going for the Doombringer uses uh, okay, pretty good. So Doombringer, you're probably going to kill it pretty easily though. Uh, we just saw the what's it called? Do, 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 do. It's called it's still panic, so that moved the Savage Doomringer all the way away. Now you can execute it. He has a um, barrage. Yeah, that's definitely a dead Doombringer. But you know, 75 HP or 75 Nora, so a Doombringer for a Losal Megalith, which is 85 Nora. I think you're okay with that under um, a lot of circumstances. Now, if he has the spell Impervious, that'd be nice. Um, but otherwise. Okay. He's going in with his Megalith. He's, he's saying, you know what, my Megalith Guardian... Oh, okay. Well, that was strange. He, so he uses Instill Pank again. Now this time on the uh, Monk's Beast Tamer. That's really good actually, because now the uh, Beast Tamer is distracted. So he won't be able to use the uh, Drive or Invigorate anymore. Um, what we do have to keep in, um, in the back of our heads though is that Nepi does play uh, Cleansing Storm, so that sh um, the, the the sorry the distracted can be cleansed again. So that was a really good play using double instill panic uh, to you know just move the champion here. It was a five. We saw the swap move uh, the megalith by five spaces, if not more, and then we just saw the um, five space movement of instill panic using twice. So that's much harder to use. Instill panic. There we go. Spanic ball. Instill panic. All right. So there is the uh, what's it called? Invoke Ice Fang Rumble. Um, but it does have to. Don't forget the um, Sentinel. So yeah, definitely kill the Low Stone first. If you attack anything else, then the Low Stone will attack you. So that is a dead Low Stone though, and he'll probably get the um, the, uh, the, the, the 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 swarm off as well. But I think the Ice Fang is in a lot of danger. Um, not too many range champs out, so maybe you won't even be able to kill it, but it'll be close. Because all of this um, ice will mean that these um, crabs will have a hard time getting to the Ice Fang. Oh, yeah, should be a kill. There's the kill. Gets the swarm. Pretty good. Furry hat on the Beast Hammer. Ah, uh, this is to stop the. Um... Oh, he doesn't. Okay. So he does not actually want to swarm. That's interesting. But he gets the normal. Um, oh, I'm stupid. There was a uh, magic eater on the lodestone, so he couldn't even get the swarm from with the strict warlock. I'm, I'm dumb. Yeah. So yeah, they have immunity magic, so these guys don't have to actually be afraid of the swarming from the lodestone or the strict warlock. But okay, now I get. It. I was wondering, like, wait, why isn't he uh, swarming? There you go. There you go. I wonder why you played the Moran's Corner there, though. It seems a little strange. Just to get the 12 heal on the uh, Lotus of Megalith. Um, so it's still, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 champs. Because all these little uh, fur balls are super cheap and have a lot of HP. And they do a lot with the power attack 
as well as leap. They can get in, get in very quickly, attack, use the um, barrier to not take too much damage. So they're very efficient. Um, yeah, there's not too much damage out. Okay, that's awkward. I think that's awkward. Okay, I mean, combat awareness is alright. Won't take as much damage from spells, not that you really need it. But now he can't attack, he can't auto attack the uh, ice and he can't basic attack it because of uh, the range. That was a little awkward there. Um, yeah, so now these guardians are gonna die soon, but you know, that's fine. As long as they don't get swarmed. And they were, here, here you see uh, Tiger Dragon retreating again. Yeah, at first he was, um, alright, so he's gonna retreat that too. First he was, uh, you know, he went in. Got one kill, and then moved out again, and now he's uh, going to try to regroup again. Um, he does have two tinkers in the back, so they'll keep pooping out things, and like, just upgrading everything. We'll build them tough. Like, you have this uh, shield warden, once you get tough on this champ, you know, seven defense right now. Definitely really strong. Then you have the uh, tinker, also given bigger aid, shatter. Might not be a bad idea to um, invigorate the furball, jump into the font, and then put ice guard up, just so that you can uh, take the font for a turn and you won't really take that much damage. But it looks like he's retreating though. But he might do that. You have to keep that in the back of your mind uh, for the invigorate uh, plus the ice furball who has the uh, what's it called ice guard, so he can just jump in, ice guard, and illuminate. That doesn't distract though, right? Yeah, definitely time to start. Okay, so spirit tinkering, nice. But it's definitely time to start playing more champs. He only has three really attacking champions or damage. Or, okay, I guess you can count the administer as well. But uh, with two supports and a lot of little summons, you need to watch out. Definitely keep deploying champions. He's really defending though his um his font here though. You can see that pretty well. Plays another mechanical crab. All right, all right. It doesn't play it, but summons it. Alright, there's the boost. Okay, so there's the boost. Now, as you can see, all having... Oh, wait here. 71 HP on this Warden. Yeah, so boost, uh, giving all his summons the uh, extra HP. Also, summon, you know, he can pile driver and, again, more shamans with building top. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna probably see the Furball go in, get invigorated, Ice Guard. You know, he already leaped, so he can't really go... He can't leap over any, any of this. You can only go down here, but that's even harder. Just go like, Ooh. yeah, this the uh, this bush is kind of messing it up actually. Should have leaped over the bush. I don't know. He really doesn't need to go in, but he can. I don't know. What an expensive champion here. Um, Seventy-one Nora only to be able to summon a pile driver and use build him build him tough. Like he doesn't have many ways to use uh, AP. While both the Tinkerer as well as the um, well, both Tinkerers <laughs> have a lot of ways to use AP, so they're not, you know, wasting it. Here he has, you know, Manson, Recharge, Mechanical Crab, Build Him Tough, Grant Elusive Okay, who's he going for? Ah, for the Boulder. He's pretty tanky, though. 18 damage, not bad, though. Can he get the kill? Probably, right? He has, does he have Pounce? Yeah, so like I said, here's here's now gonna be the ice guard. Good good move playing the. Uh, so the furball has ice guard. He's in the font. Um, so he won't die. What's this? Okay. I don't know why he puts. He keeps putting this. On him. Uh, there's a double tap from with the um, Blood Rage to get the kill. Nice. I guess he used the Dictate there just so that he could use Drive. And then there comes the uh, Phoenix out. So the Ice Hang is, you know, back at full HP. Now he could. This Prowler is probably dead though. Or, no. I guess not. There's no damage out. That's the thing. Uh, so we have this uh, Strig Warlock over here, which is definitely, you know, making. It, there's a lot of danger with the Strig Warlock with the summons. Um. 
but all that Tiny Dragon has out is summons, right? I think what really is part of Tiny Dragon's problem is, yeah, he's really good at these stall-out games, but if you do something like this, where you just kind of start, you know, poking away and putting things in the um, champions in the in the font, then there's really, as you can see, there's, I mean, one real champ, one real champ, one real champ, okay? Then everything else are either supports that can't deal damage, not really by themselves, or you have summons that are so low, um, such low HP, that have such low HP, that you're really scared from the Strig Warlock of um, him just, you know, swarming you. So, and because they just played, they really just played not too long ago, um, five minutes ago, they played a game. I think Tiny Dragon should have really seen that coming and been like, hey, you know what, it might just be a good idea just to play my Silver Clan Tinkerer. Um, maybe my Dwarven Tinker just because of the um, build them tough and the Manson and the uh, Grant Electricity Aura. But I don't think he should have played the Dwarven Engineer. Um, instead of playing Dwarven Engineer, what we could have seen here is maybe some Range Champ put out a um, uh, the, the Wolf, what's it called? The Exotic Wolf Champ that has Range. That would have definitely given him more uh, threat on the board. Right now, I feel like uh, Neppy really doesn't have anything to be scared of. I mean, 14 damage. He is tanky, but he's just at 14, <laughs> 14 damage, so it's not too scary in a sense. Also, Tiny Dragon is AFK? Or did he just not feel like moving his because of the uh, hold the line? Kind of moved everything back. Yeah. Ooh, I'm ready for this damage. Yeah, just go for the go for the uh, shrine. Then it kind of forces your enemy to do something, and he's at 11 speed. Fuck! Oh, zeal. Okay. 11 speed is zeal. Wow. Plays, crystallize. I don't know how much that costs, but it definitely keeps him in the font again. Yeah, so this next turn, uh, we definitely have to see Tiny Dragon moving in, or else uh, that shrine can take another, you know, too much damage. <laughs> another 28 damage um, from the double hit. Yeah. So he definitely needs to move next turn, do something. There is no fortify anymore, so. Definitely, really uh, well played. Yeah, I think, um, like, caliber of deck, I think um, Neppies is just a little bit better, just because, like, it really depends on what deck you're playing against, but if you're playing a stall-out game like this, I think Neppies is too strong. You have Swap to, uh, in, you know, start the, uh, the engage, which is swapping a champion, right? And then you also have... You know, your champions all get the plus 20 HP much quicker than any of the um, IS champs. Like, the, the real bonus here from the uh, Tinker is really, you know, to build up. But I think the build up of these um, these other, you know, ST champs is too strong. Also, I think you got Elbow Blade. Well, I don't know. You can't really play around Swap, though, which was that initial attack, right? Can you play around Swap? I'm not sure. Resistance is magical right here. Meaning he won't take dam much damage from the Warlock at the very least. It'll be very hard to kill him with the Warlock. Also, tough three. So, he has seven defense. Yeah, so the Warlock won't even deal any damage to him. Execute. On the Prowler. Now, what we have to actually remember here, too, is um, Neppy, if he wants, he can just turn and. Uh, Kill something, maybe go for the uh, minister. 47 HP, that's eh, all right. I mean, okay, he has resist magical as well. But... All right, so is is he even gonna move up these little? Cause these summons are all just gonna get swarmed, and that's definitely what he's afraid of. That's why he's playing them so far back. I mean, he could go and engage the purple, but it's scary. All right, so this prowler is dead from the um, aura. This bane. Bane blast you, so it's you know it's 36 damage. It's all right. 76. Look at that. One to one HP Nora ratio at 76 Nora. <laughs> all right, and then there's the um, 
Hammer Strike. Might have been a good idea to use Hammer Strike on the Strike Warlock, but I guess he's more afraid of the 9 speed Ice Bag. Loads of damage here. Alright, so that was pretty good. Um, this is going to be very hard to do. This, oh my god, look, he took 2 damage instead of 10. Not bad. So yeah, there's very... Alright, there's Cleanse. Okay, so there's the um, Cleansing Storm I was talking about earlier. And now he's going to just go for the Shrine, I guess. Can he kill it? That's very close. He might, yeah. Alright, so that's 12 plus 28, we said. Plus he's going to be a Pounce. Yeah, he can probably pounce, or leap, sorry, leap, the furball. You can get another hit with this furball. That's definitely a dead shrine. Yeah, okay, good game. Well played. Uh, that shrine is... 13, 13. Gets one more attack from furball, and then at least one more attack from warlock. Alright, it's close. It's pretty damn close, but I think he's dead. Yeah, what? Why this? Can't attack with the ice fang. He's already at 8 AP, 8 AP for attack. Alright, so he might not try, maybe he's just not trying to kill it this turn. Um, another thing, yeah, what we have here is, because of this um, invoke, right, that was actually really w well played as well. So all these champions that are down here, they can't move to the Ice Fang, and Ice Fang is really the biggest threat, and they can't move toward this Ice Fang really easily. Um, so the Transfigure will gain him 10 HP. Um, so it'll be at 29. Also, his, uh, his, uh, H, oh, is it dead? Nine? No, it's not dead. Like I said, it's not dead. He, he could have gave him the AP to the Street Warlock, he would be even lower, but whatever. He would have double tapped with the Warlock, whatever. Anyway, it's still a dead shrine. He's at 19 HP next turn. He has to kill every champion here. Or at least incapacitate them. Like, the only thing I can see is like a pacify, but there is no pacify in IS. So we're, let's see what he does now. What can he do is the question. He has to definitely think this out and do it quickly. What's he doing? He's like going for this champ down here. Heals. Why did he just heal the mechanical crab for no reason? Why is he playing up here? He has to take care of his shrine. So he's at 24 HP. Okay, I thought he was going to be at 19. So that's a little bit more. Oh, he has a Divine Shield. So he's actually impervious for this turn. I forgot about the um, IS bonus. So you don't really want to rush the IS just because of that Divine Shield. Super strong. Also, we now know that um, uh, Cleansing Storm is gone. Yeah, Cleansing Storm is gone. Now this uh, Samir is... At least for one more turn, impervious. And the Strig Warlock will die next turn. On the other hand, even once, you know, he still has this uh, Furball out next turn. <laughs> and this Furball just die, but even though, can you put an Aura on him? No, he doesn't have a champ to put an Aura on him. Yeah, and all, like I said, all see all this? All this snow is really keeping the uh, champions away, so you can only move in one because of the uh, deep snow here. Let me show you guys. Not. Grid is not working for some reason. Grid! Grid is not working. I don't know why. Um. It's really weird. Either way, this is plus two movement to over it if you're not flying or arctic, so. Yeah. Okay. A little odd. I mean, he's not in danger of dying this turn, so why why do that now? Because now he can retaliate, like, now he knows he can, I don't know, how's it So now I can move back already again. If he had done it last turn, then, or next turn, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, this furball is just going to stay here in the font. He's like, yo, whatever. He has ice guard up. So he's going to be impervious for this turn, or not? This one? Yeah, now the Ice Fang is going to see what he can kill. Um, maybe a crab, maybe a driver, mechanical kind of driver. Yeah, he's going to kill the uh, young pile driver. Who does have tough 2 for some reason, I 
because of these uh, tinkers. So it's kind of hard to kill actually. I'm only taking 12 damage. That's a bit better. Oh, 13 damage. Ha! Alright, see, like I said, the football can just uh, jump back now. So I'm not exactly sure why he decided to use the uh, still panic, uh, still panic, still panic last turn. Oh damn, loss of life works on the impervious uh, Samir, so that's actually pretty extreme. Yeah, loss of life just worked on him. That's six HP that this Samir wish he had. He can't heal himself, himself though, so he can, do, he can heal another champ, but he can't heal himself. And uh, next turn, he uh, so I'm guessing the Strig Warlock will die next turn. I'm also guessing this Furball will die, but is he going to be able to kill the Ice Fang? Eh, it doesn't look like it. He's pretty. He has so much range. Five range. Oh, he had range chance. That why. That's why in the beginning of the game he was at five uh, speed. No, I know. Ha! So it took me that long to notice. Okay, well, no, I know. That's, that's nice. So he's still crystallized. Wow. Okay. So you still can't deal damage to him, even though he can deal damage to things. So, he has Invigorate, okay, so he Invigorates the Beldaki Sentry, there you get a kill on the first Furball. Now we have one more Furball to kill. I think the biggest threat is the Ice Fang, really, uh, because of that Tectonic, or Kinetic Impulse, sorry. Um, this is really close, this is really close. If this rush doesn't work, Tiny Dragon will win, but I think it will. I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, Nepi's game. Like, he has... Too many champions that are too close to his 18 HP avatar. Okay, it's all right. That's a start. That's a start. It's definitely a start. I mean, Long Beast Simmer doesn't do an amazing amount of damage. Right, that seems weird. Going for the Phoenix? Why? Right. Kind of strange. If that Phoenix is doing work though, just defending really well. Um, but yeah, so that. Yeah, I don't know. What is he getting now? Pummel. So he can pummel the furball. Is that a dead furball? 16-16? Nope, it's not dead, nigga! Oh, it is. Why would he? Oh, because of Illuminate, probably. Right. Alright, so here we're at it now, dude. We are at it now. He can. Double tap. No, only one tap. Yeah, he can only one tap the Street Warlock. And this uh, Ice Fang is very far away. But I'm guessing something like a... Um, like a... Uh, what's it called? Something like a Gale Force is going to happen. Or this Fur Ball over here. He can jump down here too. Yeah, this Fur Ball is probably going to go attack the uh, Shrine now. And then Gale Force into the Shrine. Yeah, so he's dead. So he's going to jump. Attack the shrine once, and then Gale forces his own furball into the shrine for 15 damage. That should be a kill, I think. Let's see, leap. Let's see. There you go, there's my grid. So let's leap. Oh, he doesn't have range for one attack. Can he... No, so he can't use invigorate. Oh, but he can use drive. Yeah, so move here. Drive. Attack once. Oh, or that. I think he should just drive the fur ball, attack, and then use uh, Gale Force. But maybe he doesn't have Gale Force. I feel like he does. So why wouldn't he have Gale Force? Also, he needs more range. Kenai Crown, maybe? Kenai Crown? Kenai Crown? Kenai Crown? Where's the Kenai Crown? Alright, so here's one attack. And then Gale Force into the Kenai Crown. There we see it. So that's one attack from Ice Fang, yeah, and then one attack from Purple. And the extra bonus from the, um, yeah, that's an extra, I think, three damage or something? Two damage. Alright, that's game. Wow, well played. Um, almost got it back, but like I said, I think uh, Nepi had too, too much uh, damage near the shrine. But well played by both of them.